As a student, you must always be aware of and follow copyright law. This video will teach you a little bit about copyright law and how it will affect you as a student and as a creative individual. Copyright law addresses the question of who has the right to copy or sell something. The answer should be simple. It's the person who originally made it, right? Any questions? Okay, maybe this is a bit complicated. Let's go back in time to where it all started. Here we are in Washington, D.C. It's 1790 and Congress is about to pass the first Copyright Act. At the time, the Copyright Act gave protections for our authors, writers, and creators to have their work protected by the government so no one else could steal their work and call it their own. Now let's take a look at what copyright law protects. Copyright law protects all written work. In other words, books, magazines, newspapers, websites, any information written is protected by copyright law. Images are also protected by copyright law, which includes photography, pictures, illustrations, and any work of art. All audio creations are also protected, which includes music and all vocal recordings. Motion pictures are also covered, which includes movies and videos. Copyright law also covers dance choreography, architecture and architectural designs, and theatrical productions, also known as plays. So what does this really mean for you? Well, the point is that you can't go around taking whatever you want, even if it is for school. In some cases, it actually can be against the law. But wait, there is another law that was created to help students and teachers like you and I. That law is called fair use. Fair use law allows students and teachers to use certain amounts of copywritten material in our work. We are allowed to use a certain amount of written work. And that is up to 10% of the original work and no more than a thousand words, whichever is less. For movies and video, we are allowed to use up to 10% of the original work, no more than three minutes, whichever is less. Music and lyrics are also allowed up to 10% of the original work and no more than 30 seconds, whichever is less. And finally, pictures and photographs. We can use up to five images from one given artist or photographer. You might be starting to worry that everything out there is covered by copyright law. Well, the framers of the Constitution were concerned about the overuse of copyright. They put in place specific guidelines to make sure that certain information could not be owned by one individual. This is known as public domain. Things that fall under public domain include ideas, words, facts, phrases, things with expired copyright, and anything created by the government. I hope that this video has helped you to understand a little bit more about copyright law, fair use, and public domain. Good luck with your future studies, research, and creations. This has been a Tara Miller production.